Hello everyone, welcome to this YouTube channel. Myself Roslyn and in this video we will see how to check if an item is exist in SharePoint list using Power Automate. So here we are going to use the SharePoint online list which consists of different fields in it. And finally using the Power Automate flow we will check if the item is already exist or not. If it is not exist we will create a new item. If not we will show a message that the item is already exist. So now let's begin to check if an item is exist in the SharePoint point list using power automate flow for that log into the power automate using the microsoft credentials and click on this create option and choose the instant cloud flow and choose the trigger as manually trigger a flow and enter the flow name click on this create option here you can see the flow has been created with the manual trigger now in this example i am going to use this employee list consisting of employee id name designation date of joining date of resignation and few other fields now i am going to to add an input for all the fields that are presented in the SharePoint list. For that, go to the Power Automate flow that we have created. Click add an input and add input for all the field columns. Here you can see now I have added all the input fields with their data types. Now select new step and add get items to get all the items from the SharePoint list so that we can check if the item is already exist in the SharePoint list or not. Here choose the site address. In my case it is Power Automate Development. Click on it and choose the list name. Here it is the employee list. Click on it. Now expand the show advanced option and add the filter query to check the column internal names are equal to the user requested values for that to check the employee id this is the default title column so here i will be using column internal name called title is equal to user requested input value called employee id so here in this filter query we are going to check the unique values called employee id then employee email address and the contact number so we are going to add our condition is equal to the employee email address similarly for contact number we are going to add contact number is equal to user requested contact number from the dynamic content pass the contact number and this is the filter query condition so based on this it filters the value from the SharePoint list and returns. Now select new step, add a condition control and check if the length of the get items value is equal to zero. And the dynamic content pass the values and under expression click on it ok. So it checks length of the output of get items is equal to zero. Then in that case if yes then we will use the create item action to create the new item in the SharePoint list. If not we will show the message that the item with same information is already exists. So choose the create item action from action triggers. Click on this SharePoint site address and the list name. Here you can see we have to provide the dynamic values. So in this title we will pass the employee id, the user requested name and similarly here enter the custom value and provide the dynamic content of employee name. Similarly for other fields. Now the create item action has been added in the if, if yes part. In the if no part add a compose action compose data operation and add an input and item with same information already exists in the SharePoint list. Now click on the save option. Our flow is ready to check if an item is exist in the SharePoint list or not. Now we are going to test our flow. Here you can see I have checked condition for the employee ID, contact number and their email address. In the test case 1, I am going to pass the same email address called adlib as a user requested value. So here click on this test, choose manually, click save and test and it is asking for a sign in permission. Click continue and enter the value and choose the run flow option. So here I am going to pass the value. So from the email address I am going to pass the already existing SharePoint list email address value at events. Here I am going to pass the date of joining and I am going to click on the run flow option. Click done. Here you can see our flow ran successfully and it gets all the item from the SharePoint list. Here it takes the user input value and the email address as the adlib which is already exist in our sharepoint list email address so it should not create the new item in our sharepoint list so in this condition it is false and it displays an item with same information is already exist in the sharepoint list so this is how we can check if an item is exist in the sharepoint list or not similarly we will see the other test case so here i am going to edit this flow click test and here i am going to pass the unique address has the unique employee values with the unique contact number unique email address and also and also the unique employee id 
click run flow and choose run flow click done here you can see our flow run successfully and it checks the condition and it's create the new item in our sharepoint list just because the particular item information is not already exist in the sharepoint list so this is how we can check if an item is exist or not in our sharepoint list using power automate flow and if it is not exist we will use the create item action to create the new item in our sharepoint list if not we will display that the item with same information is already exist in the sharepoint list i hope you like this video and these are the free video tutorials that are presented in our youtube channel please check it out and please do subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos thank you